It's the last game of 2021, and this the Kula Bros Entertainment Tournament for Tales Lampian Gardens Trivia. Let's meet our members who are participating in this special tournament. A Guardian of the Moonstone from Trip Moon, Trickshaw. A basket guitarist from Snow Mountain to Bed, Don Luis. And a martial arts fighter from Tian China, Jun Plaza Yonghui. And here is your host for this special tournament in the last session for 2021, Tiffany Young. Thank you, Christian. Hello everybody. Welcome to this special edition of Tailslandian Gardens Trivia, which marks our last session of 2021. Next year, there is going to be some changes. Unlike Jeopardy, there will be five questions in each category, making a total of three categories and 15 questions for both rounds, with one bonus question hidden inside. Our dollar values for both rounds will be the same. I will discuss the categories, and you call it out for a dollar amount. New sounds for board reveal and audio and music questions will be added next year as well. Let's begin the game. Question 1. For $300, what is the largest rodent in the world? It looks like you're not going to answer. I believe it is the capybara. It is twice that big the biggest rodent on Earth. These impressive semi-aquatic mammals are found throughout much of northern and central South America, though a small invasive population has been seen in Florida. Let's try another question to get you guys to ring in. Question 2, for $600, in the Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe, why does the narrator want to kill the old man? Trick shot. Is it because the old man had the eye of a vulture? That's the one we're looking for. Question 3. For $900, which of following best describes George Washington? John? Are they first president of the U.S. and American Revolutionary War hero? Those are the ones we're looking for. Question 4. For $1,200 the largest tsunami ever recorded prior to the 21st century was approximately how tall? Dharma? Is it 1,720 feet? Yes. Question 5. For $1,500 Christopher Columbus believed he had arrived in Asia when he landed in the New World. True or false? Jun? Is it true? That's right. After sailing across the Atlantic Ocean, Italian explorer Christopher Columbus sights a Bahamian island on October 12, 1492 believing he has reached East Asia. Question 6. For $300, what is the atomic symbol for magnesium? Dharma. Is it MG? That's the one we're looking for. Question 7. For $600, on the Nickelodeon TV show SpongeBob SquarePants, who is the money-loving owner of the Krusty Krab? Jun. Is it Eugene Krabs? That's the one we're looking for. Question 8. For $900, where did the 2008 Summer Olympics take place? Trick shot. Is it Beijing, China? That's the one we're looking for. Question 9, which is an audio question. For $1,200, this sentence is an example of which literary tool? Here's Mary to read it. The tree is dancing in the strong wind. Trick shot. Is it personification? Yes. Trick shot, you have discovered the bonus question. Now that you are $300 less than Jun has, how much do you wish to gamble? I'm going to save $300 and gamble $2,400. All right, if that's what you want. Question 10, for $2,400 what is author Mark Twain's real name? Is it Samuel Langhorn Clements? That's Mark Twain's real name, and yes, you are correct. <laughs> Question 11. For $300, what is the longest word in Shakespeare's works? 
Trick shot. Is it honorific ability to deny tabulous? That is correct, and thank you for pronouncing it. Question 12. For $600, which one of these is an alcoholic beverage, usually made of fermented grape juice? Trick shot. Is it wine? That's the one we're looking for. Question 13. For $900, what is the largest animal alive today? Jun? Is it the blue whale? Yes. Question 14. For $1,200 there are exactly 20 different types of drums in the world. True or false? Jun? Is it true? Yes. Question 15. For $1,500 in soccer, who is the 2009 FIFA World Player of the Year? Dharma? Is it Lionel Messi? Right on. Lionel Messi was announced as the World Player of the Year with a record points total. Alright, round one is over. Now let's check the answers, for question one, in which nobody got right. The correct answer is a capybara. A capybara is a semi-aquatic mammal. The male capybara weighs about 75 to 140 pounds with a total length of 100 to 135 centimeters. For question two, the correct answer is, because the old man had the eye of a vulture. According to the 1843 short story, the narrator loved the old man, but he hated his vulture eye. Edgar Allan Poe, 1809 to 1849, wrote short horror stories and poems throughout his career. For question three, the correct answer is first president of the U.S. and American Revolutionary War hero. George Washington was an American Revolutionary War hero and patriot leader. He was also the first commander of the Continental Army and was elected as the president of the United States twice. For question four, the correct answer is 1,720 feet. The tsunami took place in Lituaia Bay, Alaska in 1958. The tsunami followed an earthquake along the Fair Weather Fault. For question 5, the correct answer is true. In 1492, Christopher Columbus went on a sea journey to find a western water route from Europe to Asia. When he saw America, he thought he had reached Asia. He called the native people living there Indians, because he thought they were the people of India. For question 6, the correct answer is MG. There is no element in the periodic table with the atomic symbol M or MS. MN is the atomic symbol for manganese. For question 7, the correct answer is Eugene Krabs. Eugene Krabs is usually called Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob is the main character on the show, Patrick Starr is SpongeBob's best friend, and Plankton is the many evil enemy of Mr. Krabs. For question 8, the correct answer is Beijing, China. The 2010 Winter Olympics were held in Vancouver, Canada. The Olympics were held numerous times in Athens, Greece, including the first modern Olympic Games in 1896. Sydney, Australia hosted the 2000 Summer Olympics. For question 9, the correct answer is personification. Personification is when an object or animal is represented as a human or with human-like traits and behaviors. A simile shows the similarity between things, usually using the words like or as. Onomatopoeia is the use of words that imitate the sound they represent, such as buzz or boom. Finally, a pun is a play on words. For question 10, the correct answer is Samuel Langhorne Clemens. Mark Twain was Samuel Langhorne Clemens' pen name. He was born on November 30, 1835 and died on April 21, 1910. He is well known for many works, including the novels The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. For question 11, thanks to your pronunciation, trickshot, the correct answer is honorificabilitudinitatibus. The word honorificabilitudinitatibus is found in the play Love's Labor's Lost. Supercula fragilis de Chexpialido Scheiss is famous for being used in the Mary Poppins musical, and is probably one of the most well-known long words. Hippopoda monstrosa squipedalia in means pertaining to a long word. Finally, floxinachina hill means that something is not important. For question 12, 
the correct answer is wine. There is a popular alcoholic beverage, usually made from malted cereal grain. Cider is a beverage made from juice pressed from apples, and can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Barley wine is a form of strong ale, first made in England. For question 13, the correct answer is the blue whale. That's right, the largest creature on earth is the blue whale. The Tyrannosaurus, Allosaurus, and Spinosaurus were carnivorous dinosaurs. For question 14, according to the judges, Jun, I cannot penalize you for that one, but the correct answer is false, not true. There are hundreds of different kinds of drums all over the world, including barrel, bowl, conga, cylindrical, goblet, and wasted. One of the most expensive drum sets in the world, Moon the Loon's drum set, was auctioned for a massive $252,487 or £139,650 in 2004. And for question 15, in which you buzzed in at the last second, Dharma, the correct answer is Lionel Messi. For the 2009 World Player of the Year, Messi came in first, Cristiano Ronaldo second, and Xavi third. Lionel Messi was second in 2007 and 2008, and then became first in 2009. Now for the scores. Dharma, you are in third place with $3,000. Jun, you are in second place with $5,100. And Trickshot, you are in the lead with $6,000. $900 more than Jun does. Now let's do some interviews. Trickshot is the titular protagonist of Trick Moon. He is the guardian of the Moonstone, a magical gem that grants the holder powers. His weapon is his bow, and in addition to normal arrows, Trickshot has magic arrows such as ice and acid. Trickshot, who do you like more, the prince, your older brother, or Pocket, your sister? I, unlike my older brother, am the goofy troublemaker. I never listen to my older brother and will always get the group into trouble. I do take responsibility for my actions and resolve the problem I started and I try to be cool. That's about it, Tiffany. Thanks Trickshot, regardless of your short description about yourself. I never get into trouble, though. Dharma Reese has been playing her bass guitar at Rock and Roll Park for years, knowing that persistence and hard work will get her somewhere. With her approachable demeanor and grounded sensibilities, she is not only a cool rocker, but a genuine and loyal friend. Dharma, can you explain why how it happened? I am known to be down to earth, and barely stand people's weird antics. I am often seen somewhat bored or disappointed in life, as I'm always with a stern look or sitting in a lazy way. I am also very snarky and often sarcastic, especially when things are very obvious to notice. However, because of this snarkiness, I'm often hard to convince without strong evidence. When I'm not being snarky, I can be seen as extremely friendly, to the point of carrying food, or react quickly when someone's in danger. Drummer, my friend, is also a contestant on that game show. Right, Tiffany? Yes Dharma, I did host Germer, along with Mau Mau and Ellie, back in August of this year, four months ago. Okay, last but not least we have Jun Chao Xiong Li. He loves martial arts and is a drummer while performing for the Red Arrows rock band and an Angela's Galaxy member. Can you explain how you like martial arts? Tiffany, I am an orange and black fox with a black belt in martial arts. I am a fighter and carry pepper spray on me at all times in case of defense. I live in the beautiful city of Xi'an, China. I enjoy doing martial arts and sitting in a field under a beautiful sunset relaxing. I am a bit shy when meeting new people but will be happy to hear a lot about yourself. Other than that I am okay. That's all I'm going to say, Tiffany. Alright, thanks Jun for all the facts about you. Now to advance to round 2. Dollar valued or doubled? Now let's move on. Question 16. For $600, what is a group of lizards called? Jun? Is it a lounge? Awesome. A group of lizards is called a lounge. A group of relaxing lizards can then be referred to as a lounging lounge of lizards. Question 17. For $1,200 approximately how many years ago are the dinosaurs believed to have gone extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period? 
Trick shot. Is it 65 million years ago? Wonderful. After having lived on Earth for 165 million years, the dinosaurs are believed to have gone extinct 65 million years ago. Question 18. For $1,800 the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are all named after famous artists from what period in art history? Dharma. Is it the Renaissance? Excellent. Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello were all artists from the Renaissance period. Question 19. For $2,400 in 1994, the first approved genetically modified food was released. The DNA of this food was altered to give it a longer shelf life. What was the name given to this first GM food? Trick shot. Is it Flavor Saver Tomato? Brilliant. The company Calgene marked the Flavor Saver Tomato in 1994 but the company was eventually bought out by Monsanto. <laughs> Trick shot. You discovered another bonus. I say, two bonuses in one session. How much would you like to gamble? A straight $7,500. Okay. Question 20. For $7,500 who wrote the very first Dracula novel? Is it Bram Stoker? Superb. Bram Stoker wrote Dracula in 1897, creating the basis for an entire genre of fiction and film. Question 21. For $600, what is the name of this actor who played Lieutenant Dan in Forrest Gump? Jun? Is it Gary Sinise? Impressive. Actor Gary Sinise has dedicated much of his life since Forrest Gump to raising money to benefit war veterans through the Gary Sinise Foundation. <coughs> Question 22. For $1,200 what popular Spanish drink is made with wine and fruit and translates to bleeding or bloodletting in English? Dharma. Is it sangria? Hooray! Sangria gets its name from the red color of the wine used, although it can also be made with white wine. <coughs> Question 23. For $1,800 what is Lady Gaga's real name? <coughs> Jun. Is it Stefani Joan Angelina Germanotta? Superb. Stephanie Joan Angelina Germanotta took the name Lady Gaga based on inspiration from the Queen song Radio Gaga. <coughs> Question 24. For $2,400 what is the largest type of bear on earth? <coughs> Trick shot. Is it the Kodiak bear? Good guess, but that's not the right type of bear. <coughs> Jun? Is it the polar bear? That's the one. Polar bears are generally the largest type of bear on earth. <coughs> Question 25. For $3,000, in what William Shakespeare play will you find the character of Mercutio? <coughs> Dharma. Is it Romeo and Juliet? Good work. Mercutio is one of Romeo's friends in Romeo and Juliet. He was not pleased with either House of Montague or House of Capulet by the end of the play, however. <coughs> Question 26. For $600, who plays the role of Jimmy Hoffa in the Netflix movie The Irishman? Jun? Is it Al Pacino? Terrific. Al Pacino was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 2020 for his role as Jimmy Hoffa in The Irishman. <coughs> Question 27. For $1,200 when Marty originally travels back in time from 1985 in the first Back to the Future movie, what year does he travel to? <coughs> Dharma? Is it 1955? Nice job. Marty and Doc Brown traveled back to 1955 and had to carefully avoid altering the future with their actions in this single timeline time travel story. <coughs> Question 28. For $1,800 what was the name of the first studio album released by the band Nirvana in 1989? <coughs> Dharma. Is it Bleach? Was that too easy for you? Bleach was released in 1989 followed by the band's breakthrough record Nevermind in 1991. <coughs> Question 29. For $2,400 what is the maximum number of moves it takes to solve a Rubik's Cube no matter what the starting configuration is? <coughs> Jun? Since I'm an expert at things like the Rubik's Cube, is it 20? Brilliant. 
30 years after the invention of the Rubik's Cube a team of mathematicians was able to show that the puzzle can be solved in 20 moves or less no matter the starting configuration. And John, I know you're an expert at Rubik's Cube and other mind-solving puzzles. Question 30, which is the last question. For $3,000 what is a fear of snakes referred to as? Dharma. Ophidiophobia. Be more specific. Is it ophidiophobia? Marvelous. Ophidiophobia is characterized as the abnormal fear of snakes. And that's round two. Luckily, we've got one wrong, but that round was easy, which means our game is easy. And now to check our scores. Jun, you are in third place with $13,500, Trickshot is in second place with $14,700, and Dharma. You've jumped right into the lead at the last second with $15,000. Let's go to the final round. All right, now for the category for the final round. It is... World History. All of you have studied this subject in school, and we're going to study this subject on this game show too. All right, the category is World History, and here is the clue to wrap up 2021. The Cold War was ongoing during JFK's presidency from 1961 to 1963. Who was the leader of the Soviet Union during that time? You have 60 seconds to figure out the Soviet Union leader and who he is. Good luck players, your time starts now. <laughs> A little bird flew in from its nest and told me that if all of you do a repeat of the holiday special for Tailslandian Gardens trivia, I swear, there's going to be problems and we may sometimes have a tiebreaker round. So we need to wrap up 2021 and not have a tie or we'll run into some problems and get things fixed before the new year. Remember, don't lose your confidence. Jun, we'll start with you. You have $13,500. What did you come up with? Is it Nikita Khrushchev? Yes, Nikita Khrushchev was the first secretary of the Communist Party in the Soviet Union from 1953 until 1964. And you gave shout-outs to Doggett, Saltz, Cade, and Jimmy Bimmy, which are nice. You gambled $13,000, and that brings you to $26,500. Say... We had three contestants tie at $25,000 last week. But before I can say anything else regarding that situation, let's go to Trickshot with $14,700. What did you put down? Is it Nikita Khrushchev? And you put don't ask me why, which is a funny comment. Nice job. And what did you add? $11,335. And that puts you at $26,035. $465 closer to Jun's score. Now let's go to Dharma now with $15,000. What did you write down, Nikita Khrushchev? Yes, did you bet more than $11,500? Yes. $12,109, and that set a record for $27,109. $6,508 more than Layla's total last month. And the good news, Dharma? You've won between $20,000 and $30,000, and we didn't have a two-way or three-way tie like last week. Congratulations!
And as you know, many contestants on Tay's Blondie and Gardens trivia set new records too, just like Jeopardy. In next year, we'll have a new format that with three categories and the same amount of questions per round. This is Tiffany Young, signing off. Tales and Gardens Trivia will come back with a new format next year, and it is filmed and taped at Tales and Gardens Studios in Stepford, Florida. This is Christian Reese saying, see you in 2022. Don't talk to anyone and never interfere with angry people who want their content removed.